see, see what we can do. All right, here we go. <clears throat> my name is Aaron Hunt. This is my story. I got saved at 20, and I was living a pretty deviant lifestyle at the time. Uh, I grew up in a pastor's home, and in my teen years and up until 20, I pushed against that uh, pretty forcefully. And so then when I, when I came to the knowledge of Christ, when I entered into an authentic relationship with him, uh, I immediately answered the call to ministry. So my call to ministry and salvation were synonymous with each other. It wasn't like I'd been saved for years and then, oh, like, you know, then I'm going to go to Bible college and all that. Like, you know, six weeks after uh, I, I made Christ my personal savior, I was already preaching and then went on to the mission field. So most of our ministry, which has been 20 years, connected to like or pastoring or parachurch ministry uh, has been looking for marginal people where, which I find to be the most authentic part of Christ's heart that you can find when you're chasing after that great commission. And so Jesus sets this precedent that we leave our comfortable context and go into a world that maybe we don't belong in all for the sake of bringing people to the light and the knowledge of Jesus Christ. Now, I work for Forney ISD as a student services liaison, uh, which is kind of a fancy name that I'm just discipling in school. Now we're in the context where we don't get to present the gospel. We don't get to go in there and lead people through the Roman road during you know passing period. But what we do is we get to introduce people to the values of Jesus Christ. We get to introduce people to the love and the affection and the consistency of relationship that Christ offers. And so we're really there to mentor. We have uh, an exponential amount of kids who are in the foster care system, kids who, you know, I'm on a middle school campus and most, you know, this is the age where most kids are dealing with their parents going through divorce. You have kids who are contemplating suicide and it's not enough for us to just say, try harder, do better, don't get in trouble, don't talk, stay, you know, stay on the AB honor roll. But we need people who will partner with our kids. Uh, and so for me, it's just an extension of the mission of translating the gospel of Jesus Christ into a language that 13 and 14 year olds can understand. And that's essentially what the Great Commission is, is go to Jerusalem and Judea and to the uttermost parts of the earth. And sometimes the uttermost parts of the earth turns into the guttermost parts of the earth and getting down and dirty. And If we're not willing to pursue people who make us uncomfortable, we can't pretend that we really love our neighbor as ourselves. That's the hitch of Christianity that gets difficult. That's what, I mean, they've been asking who's my neighbor for 2,000 years, and it really gets easy, is that anybody who holds the breath of God in them, anybody who possesses the image of God is our neighbor, so we can't pretend that we love people. We, like, we can't just love lily white Christians who dress the right way and show up on Sunday morning and only eat their fair share of donuts in the lobby. That can't be all we love, otherwise we become elitist. We're called the people who don't look like us but belong to God. There's so many people in this world that have nowhere else to belong except for in the arms of Christ. And if I don't do my job, if you don't do our, your job, there are people who will spend eternity estranged from their creator. Uh, at the end of the day, I don't want to be guilty of knowing people and not doing my best to introduce them to the Jesus that I know and love. My name is Aaron Hunt and he is light in the darkness.